Piero della Francesca was born around 1412 in San Sepolcro, Italy, and he is known as a famous painter during the early Renaissance. His true name is Piero di Benedetto de Franceschi, and he was born into a family of merchants. Francesca was trained by painter Antonio di Andiari, and he later went to Florence, where he worked on the frescoes of the main chapel in the church of San Indidio. By 1439, Piero was working with Domenico Veneziano for the frescoes of the Santa Maria Hospital in Florence. Through his experiences, he was able to observe Flemish art, become interested in oil painting, and study perspective. He also held multiple public rules and wrote books about the rules of perspective and math. He painted many famous works as well, such as The Resurrection of Christ and the Duke and Duchess of Urbino, and he painted them with great precision and detail. His most famous work is The Fresco, The Legend of the True Cross in the Church of San Francisco in the Tuscan town of Arezzo. It is assumed that he stopped painting due to his poor eyesight, which led to his eventual blindness. In the end, Piero della Francesca died on October 12, 1492. The Duke and Duchess of Urbino is a painting of the Montefeltro couple, who were Francesca's patrons around 1465. The diptych is a portrait of Battista Sforza and Federico di Montefeltro, showing them as powerful and fit rulers. The background of the portrait emphasizes the magnificence of the court of Urbino. Portraits dominate the painting, just as the rulers look over their land. Francesca painted the Duke's left side because he lost his right eye in a tournament, and one can see his broken nose, which was also due to a tournament. Duchess is wearing a dress with intricate detail and her makeup is according to the fashion of the time. The diptych is painted on the back as well. The Duke and Duchess are on two wagons with women who represent virtues. The way the Duke is carrying himself and how his armor is worn, it shows his leadership as he is crowned by victory. The Duchess's wagon is pulled by unicorns which represent her gentle soul. Through the detailed and symbolic portrayal of the Duke and Duchess, Francesca accomplishes two things. The goal of making the memory of the rulers eternal and portraying the Renaissance man, one who knows his role in the world and acknowledges the importance of culture and intelligence. In our version of the Duke and Duchess of Urbino, we painted two faces of the same person on two separate canvases. The left canvas contains a person's face on the right side shaded in gray, wearing a graduation cap and gown. Behind the person to these skyscrapers with both lit and unlit windows shoot up into a sky filled with smoggy air. The right canvas displays the person's face on the left side also painted gray. On this side, the person's hair flows out longer and is tinted pink near the end hairs. Instead of a graduation gown, this person wears a rainbow-colored t-shirt. The background comprises of a light blue sky scattered with clouds and sunlight that shines down onto a person's face. The backside of our artwork holds two collages. Behind the graduation canvas lies one collage full of pictures of successful people, prestigious colleges, and prosperous enterprises. And behind the more colorful canvas lies the other collage full of images of entertainment celebrities and sport athletes. Our artwork is framed with wood on all four sides on every collage as an attempt to mimic the original portrait of the Duke and Duchess of Urbino. Our intent of creating this piece is to represent the two faces or parts that make up the whole definition of the modern man. The two faces are painted gender neutral to show that the situation can apply to anyone. The left side of our artwork shows the theme of society's expectations. The graduation closing exemplifies the society's expectation of higher level education, and the dark and cluttered background signifies how society limits our choice of careers to a few that will ensure success. The backside of that painting has a collage that comprises of leaders, colleges, logos, and company names that are associated with success. The right side of the artwork embodies the freedom aspect of the modern man. The person's physical appearance describes how he or she deviates from the norm. The black hair with pink colors is clear, unique, and the rainbow shirt symbolizes the variety of pathways the person can embark on. The background depicts the white blue skies filled with endless possibilities for the future. The collage associated with this side contains images of those who have excelled in careers that are much more enjoyable than others, but are much more difficult to become successful in, such as musicians and artists. These people who have defied society's expectations have found success in their hobbies and dream jobs. As one can see from the art piece, the modern man embodies both society's expectations and our innermost desires for the future. 
In the following minutes, you'll be hearing a couple of interviews from our fellow classmates and us. We believe that money is a huge influence on our society currently. It has influenced society's expectations and our personal desires. Therefore, most of our questions are based on money. Then what would you want to be? Um, well, I really like, um, I really like watching anime. Um, I think a lot of people know that. Um, I think it would be kind of cool if I could go to Japan and work in a, one way or another at an anime company or something, like writing a script or, or being an artist or something. Like, I think that would be really cool. I would, I don't know what I would have, I don't know what job I would like to have because the only thing I've ever done is be a student. And so, if there was no issues with money, I would just go to, like, graduate from, um, get my undergrad, then go to grad school, I don't know. If I could do anything, what I would study would be creative writing. But that seems like a really not lucrative profession. Money was not an issue. I would, um, I would love to work for a nonprofit organization. Um, they, you know, like, um, build wells in um, communities that need it or build schools. Um, and, uh, you know, I, like, if, if I could get the job, I would like to do maybe some marketing or advertisement okay. for it. Maybe also, like, um, organize fundraisers. When it was an issue, then I guess I would want to be an anthropologist because it combines my love of traveling with my interest in learning about human societies and ancient civilizations as well. If money was an issue, I would pursue multiple degrees such as a degree in business and a degree in law. If and money was not an issue, I would pursue a job in music because I really enjoy music so I'm really okay with doing anything in the field of music. I would love to become an artist and sing songs or play piano or play instrument for a band or I can compose music or I can even write lyrics for music. You in choosing a career. Um, I think money has influenced me um, one way or another while choosing because I want to have some financial stability slash security when I'm older. Okay. How has money influenced your decision to choose your current job or what you're going to do? It's definitely been a huge influence because I've seen the way that money can make your life easier and I, who doesn't want an easy life, you know? I mean, it's, it's a, to earn a lot of money, typically you have to have a hard job. But it makes other aspects of your life easier, and I would be lying if I said that that would. It, I mean, you still wouldn't want to do. Um, so I guess it hasn't really influenced that much. But I know, I'm conscious that I will never be able to have nice things. I'll never be able to travel the world like I want to. So yeah, like I know that. Okay. That money has influenced me considerably in my choice in choosing a career because I want a job in the future in which I can earn a sustainable amount of income. But I also want to enjoy doing that job because I feel like choosing a job just for the money won't satisfy myself. And money has been a huge influence on my career because I did think about how it was going to affect me financially and how much it's going to cost me to pursue that career. And if the money I'm going to be making in the future would help me pay off all my loans and if I would be able to live the life I want with the money I'd be making. Uh, money has influenced me because I want a job that gives me financial security. I want a job that helped me pay off my college debts. I want a job that won't leave me in debt when I grow up. And of course, of course having a lot of money will give us a happy life. So, and that's why I want a job that will pay me well so I live a happy life. And how have family members, peers, or teachers affected your decision? Um, well, my parents have um, influenced me a lot because my parents don't really pressure me into becoming a certain um, career choice or a major when I'm older. But like, I don't. At the same time, I don't want to cause a 
financial burden on them when I'm older. So I kind of, that's, that's where it loops back to how money has influenced my decision. Okay, how has peer pressure, parents, teachers, etc., um, influenced your decision? Oh gosh, I mean my teachers have always been like, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. And my parents have been like, yeah, you can do whatever you want to do as long as it, you know, as long as you're earning enough, you know. <laughs> but I, I would say that generally everybody's been very encouraging of what I want to do as long as it's not making stupid. You feel me? Before I wanted to do uh, like graphic design for those nonprofits, um, but my parents kind of like um, got me to think realistically and, and realize that like I that's not a, a job this month. I would say that my parents have influenced me the most because I know they just want to support me with whatever I want to do, but they realize that the life is really difficult. Peer pressure, parents and teachers have influenced my decision greatly because I would want to go into a career that my parents are accepting of and that basically means that I have two options, either going into the field of engineering and computers or going into a medical field. So um, those were my only two options and I had to choose between those. Yeah, um, my future job my parents just influenced me because they want me to pursue a job that will, that will pay well so I won't be left in debt or I, I won't be in trouble financially when I grow up. And my peers has influenced me because they're all, they're all pursuing very prestigious jobs and just by being around my peers, they kind of influenced me to also pursue a similar job. Take up one idea. Make that one idea your life. Think of it. Dream of it. Live on that idea. Let the brain, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea. Just let every other idea alone. It's the way to success.